Right, guys, here today we've got the uh, Mark IV Fen Trap, ideal Fen Trap for catching uh, rats and squirrels. Really good, strong spring on it. Made in the UK, all up to the required standards by law. So, what we've done uh, at, at Quill Productions, we've, we've got this beautiful, what we call the Quill Vermin Trap box. Uh, it's a lovely, rob robust plastic box. And what we're going to do is show you how to safely set the fen trap in the box without catching any fingers or causing any damage. Um, a few things on the ver vermin box to start with is it's got a screw on the top here, which is an Allen key screw, and that can be screwed down tight from a, a child's point of view, or if you're putting it near a foot bath, nobody can uh, get into the box without, without your say so. If you're setting it somewhere, uh, on your own property and there's nobody about then perhaps you don't need the screw but it, it's there for safety reasons. The hole here is designed as a small hole which is recommended by the Game Conservancy so no other uh, animals can get in there you know you're not going to get uh, pheasants or any other unwanted animals walking through that one and even a child's hand can't get through there so we've really thought about how we've designed this little box um, and, and there's a few more tricks to it. But one thing before we go further and open it up and show you is you must uh, appreciate the robustness of this box. It is a uh, really strong bit of kit. You know, um, it, it's it's you could knock it around. The water is not going to affect it. It's plastic. But let, let's go ahead and uh, show you what it's all about. We undo the screw. We pull that back. Now, normally vermin trap boxes, you go in from the top, but we didn't like that idea. We went in from the side, and you'll see that from a safety point of view in a minute. When we place the trap in from the side, we don't get our fingers anywhere near the, the mechanism. So let, let's set the, the Mark IV Fen trap um, without catching fingers. I like to use gravity because it's free, and uh, that's quite a good way of making sure that you don't catch your fingers. We've got a, a little safety catch here, and then the, the, the trigger mechanism here, the plate and the little uh, catch here for the trigger mechanism. So what I do myself is I pull it apart like this, really, really strongly, no messing, and then I tip it over so the safety catch catches. And there we are, the safety catch is on there. It's perfectly safe, the safety catch you can see. The next stage of setting the fen trap is very, very easy. Put your hand there, Put one hand underneath there like that, and all you do is push the push down with that hand, lift up with that plate, and now you can see that the plate is set. The safety catch, still holding the trap at that angle, is still on, but here we are, the trap is now ready to spring. So, we now put the trap in the box, and what we do is we go in sideways into the box like this, popping it in there, nice and safe. Now we're ready to activate the trap, so all we do is hook the safety catch back, fingers well away, pop the lid on, put the screw in, screw it down nice and tight, and now we have a trap that is working 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Absolutely superb for catching rats or squirrels, running through the hole, they dive in there, We'll show you a little bit more on the next video on, on how to set it, a few tricks on how to set the box to get the most out of it. But basically, you have an awesome bit of kit here now that will catch all your rats and squirrels. So look forward to seeing you in the next video. Learn a few tricks. I'll show you a little bit more about the box and what we've manufactured into the box to get the really best out of it.